you mentioned psychedelics might help people overcome this pattern and yeah. create a new pattern. I found that does help me personally create new patterns in my own thought processes. But like, it's something about when you said like ego death that made me think about flow state and this mm. this state that scientists have been studying fervently in recent times, where you you quiet your frontal lobe, which is where your ego, your personality, your thoughts of me, I, it's in your frontal lobe. When you cool that down and don't have activity up there, you go into this flow state. Where and if you're creative, you understand flow state. Probably you've you've probably experienced it at some point in your life. I'm sure of it. Um, and if when you're in that state, you kind of have control not control of reality, but you control it in a different way. You interact with reality in a way where you're not like it's not happening around you. You are it. Right. I'm convinced that this is like when people say like they debate about choice. Like what what's his face? What's that guy that talks about free will? Um, that the He's a, what's his name? He's a, he's made a big case for it. Uh, Joe uh, Rogan Dawkins? Talks no, 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 no. He's, he, you see him around on the internet all the time. People look in the ca uh, comments. Talk about the guy who talks about free will. Um, you'll know his name. Sam Harris? Bingo. Yeah. Sam Harris. And I'm like, this is what debunks that. I don't believe that for a second. In fact, I think that it's extremely dangerous to make people think they don't have a choice. That is the, that's, that's a lie. That's the mm -hmm. devil. You yeah. always have a choice. I but, agree. but it, I, and the thing is, is that, I totally understand his argument that if you're born in a certain situation and raised a certain way, there is you can react with the reptilian brain so quickly. Where it's like you kind of didn't have a choice. But what you just described, I believe, is the way around that, which is that to take an objective objective step back and with that mitigating ego. To, so we now you realize you do have a choice and you don't have to act impulsively and you don't have to. You can actually choose to think. Um, I think that that telling people they don't have a choice is one of the most dangerous things. I think it's the big scam. Yeah, talking about free will and uh, I guess you would say what's what's free will and determinism. I think is the what the two the two opposites. Well, I think that there is a form of determinism and that we're in this magnetic field being moved along magnetically with God. And they say, are you with God because you're moving with it? But then you can you have the free will to bend away from that and kind of step away from God's plan and create your own will and your own plan. And sometimes that can actually get God. It seems like get God to go along with you and the rest of humanity to kind of change change course a little bit and you've kind of recalibrated determinism for the entire species I, I, all of reality i, I gotta push back on the magnetism portion of it because if you were to say like the ether or something or this like intrinsic field or something that might be that that might resonate more yeah subatomic spin but 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 what you're saying is 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 physics buzzwords to represent something that we can't understand. Then I'll stop using the word magnetism. It's too it's too big. Magnetism's too big. It's a much smaller process. What about right. gravity? No, no, but which I think see, is a see, form of magnetism. No, That's but, but no, but my, my, my issue, my issue with this is like we <laughs> of small and limited mind have identified one fundamental force. Therefore, we will describe God as that, and that's like. That, that's just, I right. think, a bad idea. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's more about the way the universe moves. Give it its own word if you have to. This, like, spin. Un unknowing. No, because spin is also a very quantifiable and tangible sign thing that we can we can study and, yeah. and replicate. A lot of the if, times... If you're trying to say that there's some kind of God field that, that unites and bonds people to God, and it's 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 beyond, you know, our understanding, yeah. then I'm like, ah, right, right, right. Some kind of, like some kind of field of energy like a Hig, the higgs field no field you're, of you're, doing you're doing it again you're doing it again you're well, doing it again you're never going to be able to see it because it's always going to be smaller than what you can currently yeah, but see it's not size the, the, the point that he's making is these are all phenomena you talk about phenomenon that we can study and that we're familiar with you talk about vibra vibrations a lot vibrations are kinetic energy we understand kinetic energy you talk about electromagnetism electromagnetism is is the, one of the four fundamental uh, forces of the universe. We understand that pretty well. The only, the thing we don't really understand is gravity. So fair enough. We don't know where gravity comes from, but the strong force idea. that we yeah, but it's it's, time. it's less it's less understood it's than a, the strong it's, force. It's than a the pushing weak. force. Right. Essentially, it's it's not. It's it's, it's gravity is it a bends, pushing force. It bends, it's not pulling. It bends space. It's not a pushing yeah. force. It, it is bend, pushing. Yeah, you're being it, pushed towards Earth. Which is no, yeah, no, 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 no. He, he, he's he's right. He's right. It's no. You're traveling through a straight line through space through curved space. Space itself is bent by massive objects. So that's why that's why like. A, a a black hole you can't get out because the curvature of space is so much that you can't travel fast enough to get out of it you can the the speed of light is 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 faster or is, is slower than the speed you need to go to get out of that curvature mass makes the field that we exist in the three dimensions up down left right forward back mass makes the field we exist in curve it bend that's what gravity is but the strong force, the force that keeps uh, subatomic particles together, the weak force, and and electromagnetic uh, the electromagnetic force. These are things that we understand really well.